Hey sweetie, so today I'm going to be doing a review on my first thoughts on the samples that Face at Lear, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Face at Lear sent me. So they sent me five little samples and the first one is the translucent powder. Then they, oop, then they sent me a foundation. Lip Putty, Concealer, and their, um, it's like a setting spray for makeup. So you're going to see my first thoughts. This is my first time trying them out, and let's get started. The first thing I'm going to um, put on is the foundation. It's the Ultra Foundation number 5. The full bottle costs $42 and it's oil and fragrance free so if you have oily skin this might work out for you. Foundation has, it's sheer to full coverage so if you have um, spots that you really want to conceal you would just have to build up the color. So this is what the color looks like. And then I'm, going, I'm just going to be using my Revlon. Uh, foundation brush and then just dab it all over the skin and then just blend it in now before I um, put the foundation on I did put on a primer so far I like the consistency it's very um, creamy and it does feel light. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, it did cover up a lot of my imperfections. I do have a lot of redness and the foundation did um, cover up a lot of the redness. There's still some blemishes here that the foundation did not cover up. So what I'm going to do is just in those areas, I'm just going to take a little bit more of the foundation and dab it to those areas and then just blend it in and blend it outward and now wow they're actually covered so now this foundation does not have a matte finish to it so if that's what you're looking for I wouldn't recommend it um, it does have a glow to it but it doesn't bother me. I actually like the dewy finish. So I would actually give this um, a thumbs up. It did cover up my imperfections. And the ones that it didn't, I just went in a second time and just covered them up. So that's the foundation. Now I'm going to move on to the concealer. Which is number two. And I actually don't need to put any of the concealer on my blemishes just underneath my eye so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna just take my finger and just dab it okay so this is what it should look like after the concealer and I actually do like the concealer um, it did cover up my under eye circles so, um, 
The only thing that I don't like about it is it's really thick. It's like um, a gel. Well, more like a thick cream consistency. So it doesn't go anywhere. But the only concern that I do have it, it might crease. But I wouldn't be able to tell you until later on. But I'm, you know, going to do a final overall in a few hours. I'm going to go out, you know, do some errands. And then I'll come back and let you know how everything held up. But, um, yeah. If you don't like thick creams under your eye area, I wouldn't apply it there. Um, it should, you know, go well all over, you know, your other areas. But for me, trying, you know, the thick cream for the first time, I actually do like it. It did, you know, do its purpose in concealing under eye circles. The next thing I'm going to do is the translucent setting powder. And the, the full size costs $32. And it comes in three shades. It's translucent, light, and medium. So this is what it looks like. This is the translucent. And all I'm going to do is just take my face brush. I'm using the Sigma 150, SS150. So I have a little on there. And then I'm just going to dab it and work it into my skin. like this it does mat mat out the foundation so you know I would rec definitely recommend this the next thing is the lip putty is I'm just gonna take it on my finger and just apply it to my lips This is a very rich formula. So, I do have um, little fine lines that are like right out at the edge of my lip. And it did fill in those lines. So, I would say that it works. Obviously, once I come back later on, I'll tell you if it really does work. <laughs> 